Na msuadakta kabisa baada ya kuweza kuangalia jinsi hali ya soka ilivyo nchini Kenya ni kwamba ni wakati umefika kuweza kuweka mambo wazi ili waliofika weze kuwajibika. Hapa katika Nation Media Group kawaida tunakuwa na demokrasia, tuna uwazi maana lengo letu ni kuweza kuelimisha jamii sio tu nchini Kenya lakini barani Afrika. Na wote wagombea wa rais waliweza kupewa heshima zao zinazostahili na kupitia hapa bwana Wason Karuma ambaye pia ni mwariri wa masuala ya michezo aliweza kuandika mwaliko barua za mwaliko kwa wote. Anafikiri kwamba kuna kiti tunakiona kwamba hichi akina mgombea hapa kwetu ni kwamba zilimfikia salamu kwa nini ya kufika hatuwezi kulizungumza kwa sasa lakini wapo walizofika kama vile bwana Semi Aina ambaye anakupa nafasi uweze kujitambulisha uh, kwa watazamaji Asante sana Kwa majina naitwa Semi Aina former FC Leopards chairman Rift Valley United owner and Mlembe FC Thank you Na niko na bwana Gor Semelango <coughs> Mimi naitwa Gor Semelango mimi ni mwenyekiti wa Reunion Football Club na nawania hiki kiti eh, cha KFF Nami ni Ambrose uh, Rachel kikazi mimi ni wakili na wakati huu ni mwenyekiti wa Kenyan Premier League na pia mwenyekiti wa Gor Mahia Football Club. Um, kwa majina naitwa Sami Shole. Um, nili, nilikuwa katika ofisi ambayo inaondoka sasa hivi nilichaguliwa kama vice chairman. Uh, nikatimliwa hapo katikati lakini nimesema niwanie ule kiti mkubwa alafu tuone tunaweza peleka wapi mpira Kenya. Naitwa Nick Mwendo, mimi mwenye kiti wa Kariobangi Sharks na mwenye kiti wa FKF Premier League na wania kiti cha FKF President. Na mshukrani sana bwana Nick Mwenda, Sam Sholei, Ambrose Racher, Goris Melango, Semi Aina. Hichi kitu ni kwa cha rais ya Lima Darakani kwa sababu ana Sam Nyamwea lakini hakuweza tumekiweka maana yake binadamu sikamili wenda akaja wakati wote akifika utamkaribisha tuweze kuendelea na mdahalo wa siku hii Indeed, thank you very much Rashid and we had simple rules uh, ahead of this show and we had the candidates ballot and we'll be asking the candidates in order of how they balloted and the rules are very simple. We have two minutes for each question and each of the candidates will have one minute to respond to what the candidate who was asked that first question had to say. Of course, you can answer in both English or Swahili and uh, there will be no personal attacks. We want to stick to the issues. And uh, before we get right into the first question, we want to see what social media is all about. And Edmond Nyabola is right here with us. Thank you so much, Watson and Rashid. Of course, we are talking about the NTV football debate. That's the hashtag we are using tonight. So make sure when you're writing in your thoughts and your questions that you'd love to be directed to our candidates, use the hashtag at, um, that is hashtag NTV football debate. Let's just have a look at some of the tweets that have been coming in. And Tuno Ching here says, can't wait to see these great minds discuss the future of Kenyan football. So clearly he's looking forward to the debate to see what the candidates have to offer. Uh, John, John Mark, that is Romantic KOT, says locked and waiting elimination starts tonight. So he actually believes out of this, uh, delegates will be able to pick the right candidate for this job come the 14th of December. Boaz Aduda Koyer Bozman, that is, says when will Harambe Stars go to the World Cup? So the co concerns are as uh, real as they get here, you can see that uh, the fans are actually concerned about our national team and when they will get to go to the World Cup. Of course, every national team wants to go there. We have Basilica here says management is poor. And this is one of the reasons that we have brought the candidates to you so that uh, you can be able to assess how and uh, what, uh, what, are their, what is their agenda basically for changing the game going forward. Five candidates are here to talk about that and we wish to hear from you as well as a viewer. Of course, you are much concerned about the game as everyone else, the players and everyone else in the country who loves the game. So basically what we want you to do is tweet um, using the hashtag NTV football debate, your questions, your comments and all that. Just keep it simple. Talk to us based on the issues at hand. Nothing vulgar, nothing of a um, of sort of an insult or anything of that kind. We don't want that. So just keep it simple and straight to the issues. NTV football debate is the hashtag. Start right now. Watson. Indeed. Thank you very much, uh, Nyabola. And uh, we will head to the auditorium where uh, Joshua Makori of QTV is with some very, very eager uh, pundits. Now, as we get um, uh, Makori's uh, voice there as he discusses the issues with the pundits downstairs, uh, the first person who actually uh, took the first ballot was Nick Mwendoa. And uh, uh, his first question pertains 
the National Executive Committee. We have experienced the sense that we have a National Executive Committee, but instead we see that FKF is run by one person, and that is the FKF president. Do we expect change from you, and how do you expect to carry out your mandate if elected as the president? Expect big changes, good changes. First change is to compose a professionally run secretariat with a chief executive officer, a CFO, chief finance officer, and a chief operating officer. These are the people that will run the game day by day. The National Executive Council uh, is elected and represents their areas. Eight of them, plus the vice president and the president, that will be the board. And the board will work with the secretariat. The board will not run the federation. That will be the difference. The CEO will run the federation every day, will report to the board, will get approvals for what is required, and therefore will run a professional body. This will be fully fledged football professionals in their areas that will make sure that the federation is operationalized properly and runs professionally. Maybe just to mention is that our dream uh, in my team, which is Team Change, Game Nimimi, Game Newell, is that we would like to have a proper secretariat physical location at the goal project. We shall call it FKF House, where all football uh, shall be located. And if you want anything to do with football, that is where you shall go. That is where the secretary will be run. That is where Harambe stars will be managed. That is where everything we're talking about will be done. All right. And you uh, picked the second ballot. And it's interesting that you've actually served uh, in this uh, <laughs> FKF, uh, current FKF office that we have. How possible is what Nick is saying to happen under the current constitution? And would you do it differently? Yeah, it's, it's actually possible. Um, what has actually been ailing the administration of football in this country is basically that uh, all the NEC members that are elected, um, they think uh, sticking at the national office is how to run football. I would agree with him. You know, um, the eight NEC members should actually operate from their regions. Um, once they do that, then, you know, they build the, the regional office from there and then, you know, they get resources from the nat national office and then distribute from the, um, I mean, at, at the grassroots level. Um, if this happens, then it becomes easy for the national office and the board, like he's saying, and uh, uh, the administrators at the, at, the, at the federation to understand what is actually ailing football at the grassroots level. But um, if we, you know, bring all the uh, NEC members to live, to stay uh, within Nairobi. A lot of them have been have, have been staying in the hotels, which which you know is a lot um, of an expense to. <laughs> to <laughs> yes, your time is up. Okay. Uh, the third person who picked the ballot is Sam Nyamoya, who is not with us today, and the fourth person goes to Gore. And how different, or how would you react to Nick's proposal and uh, Sammy's rejoinder? For me, you know, it's a cup of tea because I've been able to run a national institution with the with the national network and therefore I've been able to run a board so basically it's a cup of tea for me I would be able to empower uh, the grassroots that, that would be the sub branches and the branches to be able to run soccer in in, in the in machinani and <clears throat> and I would professionally run the federation because I understand what a CEO should be able to do what neck members who basically will form like board members should be able to do so I would run it very professionally and business-like. So I'm bringing in my private sector background and, 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 and public sector. All right, just to bring you up to date what the FKF Constitution says, it has, of course, as uh, Sami said, there are eight NEC members. We have uh, the vice president, and we have representatives from all the regions, yeah. and, and, of course, the leagues in, yes. in that National Executive Committee. Right. Right. So right. just to tell you what the FKF Constitution says. So we have to stick to what the Constitution says, unless, God, maybe you would want to change the Constitution to maybe fit uh, your cup of tea. But no, not really. It's yes. just basically once you have an experience of managing a national institution with structures across the country, it is just management uh, 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 experience that you have, you would be able to apply. I mean, okay. yes. Uh, Ambrose, you have uh, the chance now to maybe contribute. Yeah, I, I think the problem with the management of football in Kenya has been uh, from, uh, bot uh, from, up, uh, from up to bottom, um, as opposed to what I believe should be uh, bottom up. So this is something that I will be looking at the constitution 
to ensure that uh, it is achieved. In fact, having devolved our government, I believe that football must be devolved. And secondly, I'm a believer in principles of corporate governance, and I've gone through very extensive courses in corporate governance, and this is what needs to be, to be brought about in football. And lastly, of course, delegation. Um, what we have witnessed has been a one-man show, yet we need to delegate, and in the delegation, I believe that there's a big flaw in the election of NEC members. They should never be elected nationally. They should be elected from a regional point of view, and in that way, they can then operate from the various regions. Thank you. All right. Uh, Semi, I will ask you to talk about the Secretariat, because it's almost non-existent uh, under the current office. How would you do it differently? Yeah, I think it's important to respect the fact that uh, all these NEC, uh, National Executive Council members are elected members, and they are the decision-making organ. What uh, Nick Mendo has said is a good thing, but it's not workable under uh, the current constitution, because the CFO in the current uh, arrangement is the vice president. The, pres the vice president happens to be the uh, chief uh, finance officer. And what we have been seeing, and the main reason why Shule was thrown out was because he was fighting for that right. And because somebody felt he wanted to be what he's not supposed to be in the Constitution, he felt that Shule should be kicked out. And I have records of who has been operating the accounts. And in these records, you don't see the vice president anywhere. And you start asking yourself, who are these other signatories who are not even members of the executive? All right. Uh, that's just, that is the first uh, question, and those are the responses from the candidates. And as you let that simmer, we have uh, Makori, who is with some of the pundits, football players even, who will be discussing and maybe telling us what they think or how they think the candidates are performing right here in the studio. Watson Karuma, ni mekuwai kujia safi kabisa kwa kule studioni. Mimi ni kwa arena de runinga ya kio, mbapo kumeja sana, mashabiki wanaopenda soka ya Kenya. Wamemiminika angalau kufuata huu mjadala, mdahalo, moja kwa moja. Angalau pia wawezi, uh, na wakuena nafasi ya kusikika, watuwe maswali yao moja kwa moja, iwe inakuenda kuenda aji. Lakini ukufamisha tu ni kwamba umekuwa kibadilishwa, ulikuwa ufanyike kesho, ule wa matawi madogo, sasa umesukumwa hadi ijumaa. Ule mkubwa, ambao ni wakitaifa, ulikuwa upelekwe kaka mega, umerejesho katika wanja wa kasarani. Hapa ndani ya ukumbi wa arena de runinga ya kiu, mashabiki watasikika, na kwa wanafuata kwa karibu sana. Hapa la muimu sana, Walson Karuma na Rashida Abdala, Edmond Nyabola na wawombea wote watano ndani ya nyumba, ni kwamba wametega sikio ndi. Ilikuwai moja kwa moja, wasipitwe, angalau pia wezi kuwa swali. Sijiu kuta kuenda kuenda aje, kwenye. Na mshukran sana bwana Yoshua Makore na fikiri kwamba taarifa za tarehe ya uchaguzi kusukumwa mbele na eneo kuweza kubadilishwa ni ibada mbadiliko ambayo yameza uh, kuwashangaza wengi mashabiki wa soka lakini mwisho wa kuisha ni kwamba tunatarajia kwamba uchaguzi utafanyika wa haki na usawa na atakaye bahatika weze kupewa uh, ushirikiao na wa Kenya. Tukiremele ni kwamba nimeweza kuangalia jinsi ninavyokuwa mkifanya kampeni zenu. Uh, wengi mnatumeno structure nasema kwamba Kenya uh, iliyopo tuna structure ya kuweza kuimarisha vipawa vya soka kuanzia kwa wale chipukiza dikufikia sasa. Nini naje kwako bwana Sami Shole? Ulikuwepo katika ofisi labda nasema kwamba huko pana nafasi ya kuweza kutuonesha ipi ndio structure nzuri kwa masebo za kufikia. Ikiwa leo utaweza kuchaguliwa na wale wajumbe. Masuala ya kuweza kuimarisha vipawa, masuala ya kuweza kuweka academy na mpangilio wa soka wetu. Mpango wako yupi? Um, Mipango ni nyingi na ukienda kule nje na hata kwa social media unapata watu wakona maono mengi sana uh, ya kusaidia pira kuinuka. Kwa hivyo kitu cha kwanza ni kufanya kazi na watu wote Kenya hii au hauchagui uh, ikiwa ni neck members peke yao wale walikutembeza wali katika campaign zako kufuku, kufanya kazi na we. Lazima ufanye kazi mpaka na mashabik. Um, structures lazima zitutengeze kutoka mitaani. Na mitaani kutengeza structures ni lazima tufanya kazi na serikali. Kila mara tumekuwa tukijificha nyuma ya close moja ya FIFA ile kuwa e, serikali wakiingilia inakuwa ni government interference. Lakini wakati tuko na shida tunaitaji senti kutoka katika serikali inakuwa tena lazima 
ni iki, ichi, kama Arambe Stars ni ni uh, representatives wa inchi so lazima serikali itu, itusaidie kwa hivyo kitu kikubwa sana kile nitafanya na ndio sababu uh, corporate clients wa kuja ndani ni kufanya kazi na serikali lazima tufanye kazi na serikali tuwe uh, katika karibu sana ndio wao nao watatusaidia ku, ku, uh, kupata sponsors na sisi pia zile pesa kidogo zile zinakuja kutoka kwa FIFA lazima tuonyeshe ni ngapi zimekuja na ni ngapi tumezitumia tumezitumia wapi kujenga mpira Kenya hii na na ntenda uh, kwa aliyekuwa ameweza kuchukua nafasi ya kwanza ambaye ni bwana Nick Mwendo kumbuka wewe umeweza kuwa na Kario Bangi ambao Sharks umeweza kupambana nayo mwenyewe. Yes, yes. Aliweza kuzungumza bwana Sami Shole kimtazamo wako yatafanya kazi ama mbinu yako ni tofauti? Uh, ya naweza kufanya ni kusema kwetu sisi natoka katika nimetengeza team nchi mzima. Kuna sub branches eh, 84 Kenya mzima. Na kati hizo sub branches sisi tunajiita team change, team blue na tuko na wagombea katika hizo sub branches 82 kwa nini tuko na teamwork tuko na neck member katika kila area tunafanya kazi pamoja kurudisha football pamoja hiyo organization Rashid tunataka kuileta kwa football ndio tuongee na kila mtu tufanye kazi pamoja jambo la kwanza huwezi kufanya kazi peke yake nafikiria sasa mimi alikuwa anasema uko vizuri constitution yetu sisi katika team change tumepeana ahadi tusaibadilisha kabla mwezi wa tatu ndio hizo vitu tunasema hapa zingine haziwezi kufanyika sasa hivi bila nasema hizo vitu zote tumesema secretariat vile inaendeshwa neck members zile wako ya ziweze kufanyika na ni mambo mengi sana katika grass tutatendelea na na nafikiri ndio umeweza kusonga na tukija kwa uh, bwana Amro Sarashia ameweza kuchukua nafasi tatu ni kwamba tukizungumza structure wakati mmoja tunasema kwamba leo ukienda ukiuliza timu ya wachezaji wa timu ya taifa Rambe Stars wachezaji sio zidi umri wa miaka 18 ni ngumu kuweza kuipata. Miaka 23 maandazia yake ni shida. Tunasema kwamba hatuna shule ambazo zinatoa mafunzo. Vipao ambavyo vinatoa katika shule za upili, shule ya msingi vinapotea bila kuweza kutumiwa. Wewe ukiingia katika ofisi leo hii, jinsi umeweza kuwa na uzoefu wako katika klabu ya Gor. Una utupaje mipango ya kuweza kuimarisha vipao hivi na kuweza kuwa na mipangilio na miaka na timu ya Taifa Rambe Stars. Kwanza tukizungumzia structures kwangu inahusu uh, mbinu mbalimbali mikakati mbalimbali kwanza kabisa ni academies na pili tukifuatana na, 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 na academies kuna shughuli ya kuwa na youth centers youth structures ukitaka kuendesha mpira au kuboresha mpira yetu ya kimataifa lazima tuanze mashinani na lazima tuanze na shule ya uh, mafunzo ya youth kwanza kabisa na ya pili structures za kuongoza professional football huwa kunakuwa na mgogoro na mzozo kati ya KPL na uh, FKF ili kumaanisha kwamba hakuna structures ya kusema ya kwamba kuna uhusiano gani kati ya KPL na FKF na tatu ni mpira ya wakina dada wakati huu hatuoni bwana Rachel ni kwamba tunaheshimu sheria umeweza kutueleza mengi na fikiri kwamba hiyo hoja hoja ya kina dada tutaizungumzia baadaye maana tuweze kuweka usawa katika jopo letu ili e, na kumbuka pia vile vile kabla tuweze kuendelea na, na, na baadhi tunaweza kutoweza kwenda kwa bwana Edmond kidogo aweze kutuambia uh, wa Kenya wanazungumzaje kabla bwana Gore Semelango na Semia Ina waweze kutupa mipango yao endapo wangekuwa viongozi siku ya leo so clearly Watson and Rashid guys are talking about the issue of uh, management first of all and the structures the question that you have just brought up and uh, Don Luis here says what structures will you put in place to resuscitate football in Kenya so the issue of structures where do we begin developing our football is coming up here and how will the candidates help football grow from the grassroots that's Fre Frederick Mwiruri so you can see it's um, all about starting from the grassroots corruption has killed our football I don't know who among them has the credentials that will come to that on uh, who has the credentials so corruption clearly an issue of management there Felix Tanga here says watching from the office please ask the candidates about how they wish to work with KPL and FK, FKF Premier League if elected the issue that uh, Mr. Rachir was bringing up uh, the conflict between the national uh, governing body and the top tier league that is the Kenyan Premier League that we witnessed earlier this year. Titus Kandia says it is high time we change this system of governance. We have the ability of transforming it is a challenge. So the issue 
of uh, the constitution there and how it works in terms of the candidates uh, the National Executive Council is talking about. Malon Lugadiru says not a single youth program and even when private sector got involved Sakata ball, we remember that uh, it was cattled, big shame so a lot of people thinking about the issue of credibility and all that when it comes to sponsorships and of course the grassroots program that we are talking about Back to you guys. Na mshukran sana Edmond natazidi kuweza kuchukua maoni. Nakumbuka kwamba alama ya rally ni NTV uh, football debate tunaweza furusa kuweza kuzungumza nasi lakini kabla tuweze ku, kuendelea na maswali yetu kwamba kuna kusoma swala ya structure. Mm. Leo hii tuchukulie wewe umeweza kuchaguliwa na wale wajumbe ambao wataweza kupiga kura. Yeah. Umeweza kuingia ofisini. Hii ndio plani yako ya mipangilio ya kuweza kuendeleza soka, kuweza kuimarisha vipawa yako ingekuwa gani? Mimi kwanza mimi kwanza mimi nafurahia demokrasia. Maana yake mimi nataka watu wajichagulie viongozi ambao wanaopenda kutoka mashinani. Na vile nilivyokuambia mimi nina uzoefu kwamba nimeweza nime kufanya kazi katika e, serikali na kufanya kazi na wale wote katika mashinani. Kwa hivyo naelewa kwamba kule ku, kusaidia soka e, kufanya vizuri vyema nchini lazima kuwe na youth structures. Na mimi nimefanya kazi na vijana. Kwa hivyo naelewa kwamba lazima tuzingatie wale ambao wanatalanda kule mashinani alafu tukue na ile wa kimombo tunaita national scouting system ambao tutaweza kutafuta wale vijana ambao wana talanta alafu tuweze kuinua wao waje katika national team huku juu alafu pia tu export labor yao alafu waweze kupata hela na msemi aina ya tukizungumzia structures kuna structures aina tatu ambao kuna structures ambayo inahusisha fedha kuna structures ambayo inahusisha uongozi na kuna structures ambayo inahusisha development Ya kwanza ya fedha nasema mimi nitakuja niweke mandatory club zile ambazo zina ni members wa FKF kila baada ya miaka wakuje watupatie documents zao zile ambazo zinaonyesha vile ambavyo wamekuwa wakitumia pesa zao na pi, pia sisi vile vile tutaweka wazi tutachapisha kwa magazeti kuonyesha vile tumekuwa tuki uh, tumia pesa ambazo tunapokea kutoka kwa uh, investors na pia uh, kutoka kwa FIFA tukienda kwa management structure kama vile umesikia wengi hapa wamekubaliana na mimi ni kwamba ile constitution tuko nayo ina limit kuweza kuput professional structures na kile ambacho nitafanya ni talobi kwa wale wote ambao watakuwa wamechaguliwa waje tubadilishe zile vipengee ambazo zinatupatia shida na hapo ndiyo tutaweza ku streamline structures kwa sababu shida ambazo zile tunaona kama mimi nimekuwa chairman na FC Leopards na Rachera atakubaliana na mimi shida ambazo zile tunaona kwa club zetu ni kwa sababu mda bwana uh, bwana uh, semina na ningeweza kuwasaidia kuweza kuwashauri kwamba mnapokuwa mnajaribu kuweza kujibu maswali mweze kupanga hoja ndio kidogo muda uende sambamba na afrika kama kama wewe ni, 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 ni mtazamaji nyumbani na kama wewe ndiye ambaye utaweza kupiga kura labda unasubiri kuweza kuchaguliwa Ijumaa baadaye uweze kupiga kura ushamjua mgombea wa rais ni yupi hapo tupofikia tukiendelea wengine watajipokenya watajipo, watakuwa wanajipunguzia kura unaweza kujiongezea kura kuna mmoja angekuwa ingekuwa jambo la busara zaidi tuweze kuangalia wote na kuja lakini nafikiri hapa bwana uh, Wason Karuma amesema nafasi yake ipo endapo wako njiani tunamsubiri tuendelee na mdara Indeed, so we'll be taking a short break and after the break we'll be talking about corporate so uh, sponsorship. Why doesn't the Harambe Stars or why does FKF not attract sponsors and keep them? Those are some of the issues. And of course we'll be asking the candidates, how well do you know your football? Who knows? We'll find out after the break. Kama ndo najiunga nasi kwa sasa kilicho hewani ni mjadala wa moja kwa moja wa uchaguzi wa FKF mwaka 2015 uchaguzi ni December 14 katika ukumbi wa Kasarani. Hapa nilipo wako wafuasi wa soka ya Kenya na kuna jambo moja Papa Francisco akiwa Kenya aliniambia kwamba ameombea uchaguzi uwe wa amani na kila yule atakayeshindwa akubali kushindwa. Sijui wanasemaje hapa manake ni wengi sana. Sijui nianzie pembeni hapa kidogo. Unasemaje wewe? Umesikia wale wagombea wote watano. Kauli yako itakuwa muhimu a uh, ndio asante sana makori na asante sana vile vile uh, kule chini upande wa pili wa studio Wasan Karuma na vile vile Rashid Abdalla ningependa tu kuchangia kidogo manake wagombea wa uchaguzi wako ndani ya nyumba lakini ipo shida hapo manake hakuna uh, yule ambaye anazungumza waziwazi kuhusu uh, kile ambacho atakachofanya kuhusu uh, swala la vijana 
nimesikia wagombea wakisema kuna umuhimu wa kuepo na miundo msingi ya kuweka vijana lakini hakuna ambaye anajitokeza kusema kwamba yeye akiingia makichaguliwa kukuwa rais wa shirikisho la FKF atafanya hivi na hivi ama itakuwaje Tanzania wapi na atahakishaje kwamba ile miundo mbinu ama ama ile a, mipango ambayo atakuepo ata, atakuwa ameweka kwamba itaweza kufaulu si mwaka mmoja ama miwili bali itakuepo katika a, a, shirikisho wakati ambapo miaka inapita kwa hivyo ningependa wale ambao wako pale katika studio uh, uh, bwana Nick Nyamwa Nick Mwendwa Sami Aina Gold Semelango Sami Shole na Ambrose Sachel uh, tafadhali uweze tu kunieleza ni mikakati ipi ambao wataweza kuweka ili kuhakikisha kwamba kuna vizazi ambavyo vitakuwa vinacheza kandanda eh, kutoka pengine miaka 20 miaka 17 na kuendelea Asante sana Voyo kuna huyo ndugu yangu hapa kauli yake imemuuma sana na ni muhimu aiweke hewani. Wanzi na jina lako. Asante sana. Jina langu ni Dismas Mokoa. Na kwa wale wenye naona wanataka kuwa rais na swali maswali mawili na ningependa niongee kwa kimombo kama unaweza nikubaliana. Okay, asante sana. M- m- understanding of uh, soccer in Kenya that for it to be a success we need somebody who understands how the private sector works and somebody who understands how the public sector works. So I'm wondering whether among all the six presidential candidates there's actually somebody who understands how those two sectors work because the problem we have today and uh, i say this with a lot of humility and respect to the current uh, office bearer that uh, he does not have the capacity to call anybody in government or the private sector and get sponsorships and you know soccer can never survive in any country mm-hmm. if you don't have uh, strategic partnerships from uh, either the public sector mm-hmm. or the private sector mm-hmm. so i'm wondering among all these uh, presidential candidates mm-hmm. who can actually take a his phone mm-hmm. and send a text message to the minister for sports mm-hmm. or send a text message to the guys who on uh, Kenya Airways or a charter flight like for instance when uh, Arambe Stars was supposed to go to Cape Verde mm-hmm. one would have expected that the guy who runs uh, soccer in Kenya mm-hmm. can actually call the airline and say that uh, please take the team to mm-hmm. Cape Verde mm-hmm. and on the strength of his text message mm-hmm. or his phone call mm-hmm. that can happen so i don't know whether among all those candidates hey. you have somebody who understands that wakati unakwenda sana asante sana Nije kwa mchezaji mmoja hapa hatari sana angalau unaye atuambia mawili matatu ameuona mjadala kivipi kwa maoni yake Okay maoni yangu maybe naweza na maswali kwa sababu tume, tumeona ma, wale wakombea wa urais wakiwa pale kuna naweza na chairman wa KPL ambaye ni Rachel unapata kisasa saa hizi vile iko unapata yeye chairman wa KPL na kuna vilabu hapa Kenya unapata vingi sana wachezaji walipwi au unapata wamefungiwa manyumba so sijui kama yeye ndio chairman wa KPL na hizo vilabu machairman wenye yako nao imekuwa ni vigumu sana kulipa wachezaji sijui kama itakuwa rahisi akiwa rahisi wa federation sijui itakuwa namna gani ni kuja kwa aina unapata yeye ame amepitia pale AFC Leopards na kila mtu anajua shida ambazo AFC Leopards iko nazo natarajia kwamba kama unataka office kubwa pia lazima pale chini ukuo umefanya kazi nzuri sijui pale atakuwa kama atatuambia amefanya nini kwa sababu ukiangalia hayuko pale lakini alipitia pale na kuna shida zile zilikuwa pale bado ziko pale. Ayokuja kwa nikiongea juu ya Nick. Nick amefanya kazi na Nyamoya. Na ukiangalia vizuri sana unasema katiba ya saizi haiwezi ruhusu mambo mingi kufanyika. So yeye yeah, akiweza akiwa president wa federation sijui jambo lake la kwanza litakuwa nini kuona kwamba ameweza kubadilisha hizo vitu ili mambo yaweze kuwa sawa. Nikuja kwa Shole swali langu ni kwamba yeye ni mche, amekuwa former player na kusema ukweli kwamba wachezaji wale walicheza kitambo wameweza kutuangusha sana naenda pia na mfano ukiangalia kama Zambia nchi kama Zambia president wa federation size ni mtu aliyecheza mpira lakini ukiangalia wachezaji ambao wamecheza mpira pale mbeleni hawana umoja kila mtu anajitakia na ndio umetoka kwa hii shida yote ambayo iko hapo Asante sana hapa kuna kauli nyingi sana na hakutokamilika bila hawa manake wachezaji ndio wanaweka ile ofisi iweko narejea moja kwa moja hadi kwake Rashid Abdalla na Watson Karuma Well thank you very much uh, Makori there and of course the guys who are asking questions from the auditorium and it is indeed important questions and we are noting them down and as we go forward with the debate uh, something stands out from all those guys who spoke they actually want to hear what you will actually do and maybe not generalize it so you give specifics of what exactly you want and the next question is coming to you gor and this question pertains uh, kenya's uh, style of play we know that we have a foreign coach in the country would you still keep a foreign coach and what is 
Kenya's preferred style or what would be a preferred style for Kenya if we are going to, going to, to go ahead and what would you promise Kenyans as far as competing maybe in the Africa Cup of Nations and the World Cup is concerned? Okay, I think the time is short but let me go straight to what I need to do. I've said before and I want to say it, I have three things to do. One is what I call reversing the pyramid scheme, the, uh, reversing the pyramid, which means structures, uh, structure and systems in place. So we would have 47 counties, the branches turned into 47 counties, and we'll have uh, excellent, excellent centers. And we'll work with referees, coaches, and the players. They will be semi-autonomous, and I'll give them resources to be able to do what they need to do, professionalism and business-like. Number two is contact with the private sector and public sector. I, uh, there's, a, uh, there's one person who asked about that. I have what it takes. I've been in the public sector and the private sector with interest in several areas. And I would ensure that I mobilize resources necessary in order to have football working the way it should be. And last one is letting the national office act as a catalyst and facilitating the branches and those I'm calling excellent Indeed, centers. indeed. But yes. you still have to give me the question. Yes. Do we still need to keep a foreign coach to run the national team? And a, if, yes. if not, yes. how do you plan to run maybe the technical bench for the Harambe Stars? This well, is the biggest team that actually carries the National Federation. Thank you very much. For me, as a businessman, I look at it value for money. If we have a, 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 a local coach, would we get value for our money? If we have a foreign coach, what would we get? That's the question that we need to answer. Okay, Once go, you go, answer go, that question... Go, 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 Utaangalia kama tunagarami, kama tugarami kizaidi? Ubora wa, ubora, you know, in business, and that's the, pro, the iyo ndio shida tulioko nae kwa inchi. Tunachukua labda ni mzungu tu, ama tunachukua mutu kwa sababu tunataka mutu wa local. Lakini, do we get value for our money? Thank you Ita very much. Itamanishe kumba. I'll cut it short. I'll cut it short. And yes. Nick, you have to respond to that. Would we keep a foreign coach? Would your office, if elected, keep a foreign coach? And what would you promise Kenyans as far as Africa Cup of Nations and the World Cup is concerned? I can keep a foreign coach. I can keep a local coach. But that's not what's important now. What's important now is to reorder what we are doing in preparation for 2022 World Cup. So what am I going to do? We want to change the game at the grassroots, as everyone, everyone is saying. So what am I going to do? That kid who's playing in Kilifi and Bungoma, I want to give him a football and a coach. 50 kids, one coach. That way, with resources, 2,000 balls for every county to get them playing. When I do that, then I increase the national cake in football from 350 million currently to 1.5 billion. That money then goes to grassroots and to the various components required. The third point is then changing the leagues and taking care of the players. When I do that, because the football is being played at the grass with Watson, then I can worry about which coach to have at the Harambe Stars because I have the players coming through with the, with the scout network. I can go foreign, I can go locally, I will choose if to go, say, KNVB route or German uh, DFB route, 4-2, I prefer 4-3-3 system myself. But we have to play that in Kilifi and Bungoma for us to bring it to national office. S Sami, the ball is on your court. How would you do it differently? He brought in the numbers. How can we increase the number of local coaches in this country so as maybe to reach such, such, some of the targets that Nick um, has mentioned? What I think, first of all, just to answer the previous question, is that um, um, the coaches are not the problem. The problem actually structures, and structures is uh, building football from grassroots level to national level. And that uh, by so doing that, then uh, we, we will have a good national team. And uh, you know, you can, you can give a coach from, from abroad uh, the worst or the best players in this country, but he cannot deliver. Um, our, our country has done very well using local coaches. And uh, by coincidence, all of them, I think, are Kambas. Marshall Mulua uh, goes to Mule, um, uh, Francis Kimanzi. So basically, it tells you a lot. It is not about foreign coaches. It is about the structures that we have. Do we have structures in this country? Now, the structures that, that actually, actually build that uh, midfielder in me are structures that um, we started football from, from, from primary school, where FKF, or Football Federation then, was, was connected. And uh, all branches and sub-branches, it was mandatory that they have a youth team. So this is basically what I'll do. I'll go back to what, what, what grew me up, make sure that all sub-branches, it becomes a condition that you must have a youth center. And then the national office now will look, um, will look for a way to actually fund the, the sub-branches and branches. Thank you very much. Ambrose, uh, how differently or how do you do it at Gormahia? Uh, putting in mind that you have relied on foreign coaches yes. to actually go ahead and win the Kenyan Premier. Uh, 
Well, I think let me first of all answer the, the first question is whether I would retain a foreign coach or, or, or not. To me, coaches, issue of coaches is a question of competence and uh, affordability. Uh, and that is what I'll be, look, be, be looking for. And it's not me as uh, Ambrose Rachia, the chairman. I think this is where the technical side of uh, the federation will have to come in. There has to be a body that is competent, that is imbued with that competence to be able to identify a national coach. And to me, once that person is identified, the issue of their nationality, of course, does not matter. Yet I want to say that I, I think it would be better for us moving forward to go for local coaches and therefore we need to train them. If we can train them from the lowest level and then eventually let them take over. And then we'll be talking about uh, transfer of uh, technology in our own, own country. Now last then, how do we uh, do it in, in Gore? Yes, we've had the, uh, the um, usual practice that, uh, for quite some time We've, uh, in fact, lately, we've been using uh, uh, foreign coaches. We've had Bobby Williamson, who has moved to the national team, and then we now have Frank uh, Natal. But before that, we've had people like uh, Zico, we've had people like James Sianga. So t that shows you that for us, it's competence, yes. not nationality. Yes, one minute, and I think our timekeeper is becoming lenient by the minute. <laughs> but Samia, please go ahead. Thank you very much. I think the issue of foreign and local coaches has more to do and requires a unique shift in mentality because we have players who perform better uh, under foreign coaches and poorly under local coaches so we need first to shift that mentality that a foreign coach is better than the local coach and apply what is needed and here we have classification of these uh, coaches if a local coach meets the same standards that we want for our Rambistas. We need to give that local coach the same opportunity and the same salary that we would give a foreign coach. And again, come back to the players and tell them that respect this coach just the same way you'd respect a foreign coach. Thank you much. Na kuchukua mataji mawili wa kisubiri lengine la tatu. Lakini pia vile vile ni klabu licha kumbe na mchezo mzuri ya ina mdhami ni ambaya na kuja. Leo kiu utaingia. Kama wadhami ni wakija mkataba maro nasikia tukuwele wana. Tupati shilingi ya tupati hivi. Endapo utakuwa raisi wa shirikisho. Arambe stai zaile kupata wadhami ni na itapataji. Ni naamini ya kuamba ni kichaguliwa niwe raisi wa mpira wa FKF. Hapa kwetu Kenya. Kutokuwa na tofauti. Uh, wakati huu nafikiri changamoto ambayo tunacho katika uongozi ni uongozi ambao wale wa corporate uh, world wanasema kuna ufisadi kuna poor management ambao umesoma hapo kwa, 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 kwa social kwa mtandao na ni kwamba lazima turekebishe uongozi tuepukane na ufisadi kwenye uongozi huo ukiondolewa na pili wadhamini ni wengi hulalamikia vurumai vurugu na fujo kwenye 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 stadia nikiingia huko nafikiri nitachukua fursa ya kwanza kabisa kuhakikisha nimekabiliana na uone unayozungumza anakuchanganya na Gormai unayozungumza unayozungumza vurumai sio 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 changamoto ya Gormai vurumai ni changamoto ya uwanja wa kandanda kote duniani nafikiri umejua ya kwamba hata kule EPL wamekuwa wakikabiliana na, 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 na vurumai. Kwa hivyo ni jambo ambalo lasima ni sisi tuzie. Maana acha ni ni Unipe time. Kuna maneno mawili ambayo wadhami ni wanalalamikia. Yaani ufisadi katika uongozi na pili vurumai katika stadia zetu. Kwa hivyo nikiingia jambo la kwanza ni kukabiliana na hayo. Nikumeza kusikia. Nasema kwamba kimtazamo wake akiondoa ofisadi, akikomesha vurumai, wafadhili watakuja wewe, unakubaliana na maoni yake kwanza na kama ukubali nao, ukiingia wewe mpango wako ni upa kwanza kuwaleta wawekezaji katika timu ya taifa Rambe Stars na pia katika ligi kuu nchini Kenya. Tukirekebisha image ya football. Image ni vile tunaonekana kutoka nje. Tukirekebisha hayo, tukirekebisha hayo wadhamini ni watarudi. Nafikiri hivyo ndio Ambrose sana sema na hivyo ndio tutafanya exactly. Tukishafanya hivyo tutakuwa na mikakati ya kusaidia vilabu kutafuta hizo pesa, kuwaelimisha wajue kwamba wanaweza kuandika proposal vipi, 
wanaweza kuwa approach nani kama sponsor ndio aweze kuwa sponsor hiyo ni katika, katika club level lakini katika premier league level na ligi zingine tutakuwa na kampuni mbili kampuni ya Kenya Premier League katika top league na kampuni nyingine itakayo vile wanataka ya kuendesha ligi mbili zitakazofuata Kenya Premier League hizo kampuni zitakwenda kutafuta pesa na hizo pesa tunatarajia zitaongezeka nimeongelezea kuongeza pesa kutoka 330 million mpaka 1.5 billion nikitakuuliza ni, ni, swali moja yes. How are you going to account for this money that comes through from the sponsors? Because that is where uh, the shortcomings come. That's where the challenges come. That is where uh, administrators get opportunities to actually misappropriate those th the monies that actually come to the clubs. The monies will come each 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 component. Say the FKF, the Premier League, for example. Money is paid to the Premier League directly. And they will account for it as they do today because they do in the Kenya Premier League. And we shall every year review that and submit to the sponsors. Same thing in the Federation. Every quarter we shall publish our management accounts so that you can see and question us. Sure. That way we are accountable <coughs> to the sponsors and to everyone, including yourself. Shukran sana na wana Sami Sholei. Vipi unadhani kwa maneno njia bora kuweza kuleta wawekezaji? Nafikiri um, kitu cha kwanza ni kuwa vile um, chairman Rachera amesema hapa hivi ufisadi. Kama tunaweza kumaliza ufisadi katika mpira, um, sponsors watakuja wengi sana. Unakumbuka wakati tuliingia katika ofisi kila mtu alikuwa na hamu ya kufanya kazi na watu wa mpira. Mpira football ndio the, uh, the most popular sports in the whole world. So ikiwa zile pesa kidogo zinakuja katika federation na mnazitumia vizuri na pia na nyinyi zikiingia mnaambia watu zimeingia ni ngapi? Zikitoka na mnaambia mnazitumia aje. Nafikiri watu wengi watakuja katika katika federation. Kitu kingine ni kuwa um, lazima tuandike watu wale wame qualify katika federation. Kwa sababu um, mara nyingi sana utoona na vile tumekaa hapa hivi. Tukona watu wengi sana nyuma yetu. Ikiwa tutanza kufanya favors yetu kwa sababu wewe ulinsaidia kukampain. Lazima wewe ndu uwe mwe kazina hapo tutahatu taendelea. So that we give Gor Mahia a chance. Of, I mean Gor Semelango. Gor Mahia would be so. Please. <laughs> Please, you, you know, I, I like the idea that uh, my brother Ambrose is very honest. And, and if you look, FKF Premier League is run by Nick. He's talking about increasing money. And no sponsor is coming to his uh, league, you know. And I like his honesty that he'll try because, like you said. But what will you do? Yes, I mean, the, the, I, I am in the private sector. The private, the private sector just wants somebody they can trust with money. I've been tested in public sector with over 15 billion. I never stole a penny belonging to young people. And we therefore, uh, no, it is on record. No, <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> like your joke, it is on record. And therefore, the private sector is waiting for somebody they can entrust with money. Yes. And, and that will be the sponsorship. All right. Yeah, uh, that's a very good uh, uh, question. And I think for me what I will do is I will give these institutions and organizations free access to our books of account. And because there are trust issues, like I said, our constitution has the vice president. All of us here seated here are presidents. We don't know who, which vice president will be elected with you and happens to be the CFO as per the current constitution. Now, if the private sector does not trust your CFO, what happens? Yes. So what I will do, I will introduce a fee that they will pay the federation that will go to the development fund mm -hmm. and let them run their, uh, their football as they want. And I'll cut you short there. So this is this is the point. If you feel these guys are still not answering the questions you want answered, you can still throw those questions on social media. And Edmond is actually uh, standing by to be reading some of those questions. And also some of them are running on the on the bottom at the bottom of the screen. Let's continue this after the break. Na mpopote pale ulipo unatazama matangazo ya moja kwa moja kutoka QTV na ushirikiano na NTV katika jumba la nation ni ukiwa ni uchaguzi ama ikiwa ni mjadala wa uchaguzi ambao unatarajiwa hapa nchini tare 14 mwezi wa Disemba katika uchaguzi mkuu wa shirikisho la kandanda hapa nchini FKF. Kufikia hapa ama kufikia sasa kile ambacho tunaweza kubainisha ni kwamba wagombeaji ni sita lakini hata hivyo katika studio zetu hii leo wagombeaji wamefika watano ili kuweza kujadiliana ama kutoa mjadala kuhusiana na uchaguzi huo ambao unatarajiwa. Hata hivyo sisi hapa QTV na NTV hatujui ni nani atakayebuka mshindi itakapofika jioni ya tarehe 14 mwezi huu wa Disemba. Vile vile hapa tukiwa ukumbi huu tunaweza kubainisha kwamba wageni wamekuja wengi tu ili kuweza kuchanganua ama kuweza kutoa maoni yao 
kuhusiana na shirikisho ama kuhusiana na uchaguzi ambao unatarajiwa hapa nchini baadaye mwezi huu wa Disemba. Na siwezi kupoteza muda ningependa tu moja kwa moja niweze kuwashirikisha wale wageni ambao wamefika hapa wakiwa ni wachezaji mbalimbali, wadau wa soka na vile vile mashabiki wanaofuatilia kandanda ya Kenya kwa karibu sana. Labda tuweze kupata maoni ya wale waliofika hapa na ningependa kumrushia mikrofoni mmoja wa wadau. Kwa majina naitwa George Nderitu mimi ni shabiki wa kandanda na swali uh, swala moja ambalo linaibuka sana ni kuwa tunaona kuna ufisadi na ufisadi huwezi fanyika kama hakuna wafisadi. Ningetaka kujua kutoka kwa ah, viongozi wetu kama kuna mikakati ambayo wataweka pesa ambazo zimepotea kama zinaweza patikana. Ujua hakuna mtu amepelekwa kotini hadi saa hizi. Juu, kama hiyo itafanyike na maanisha pia au kama nini president whoever watakuwa na jitkreti ya cushion that hata wakikuwa corrupt they will never be taken anywhere. And kufikia sasa tumeona wagombeaji watano wameweza kuzungumzia sera zao, wameweza kunadi sera zao. Labda hadi kufikia sasa maoni yenu ni yapi kuhusiana na wale ambao wameweza kuzungumza ningependa kumrushia mwanadada mikrofoni aweze kuzungumza. Asante sana kwa majina naitwa Lucky na nimeona wameongelea kuhusu vitu mingi lakini there is one thing they have not told us the problem we have in Kenya right now is the players are having a problem because anytime they want to play they're not being paid and currently we have the best players so far it, the problem is that they're not being supported I want them to tell us what are they going to do about the players hakuna mtu wa Kenya yenda kufanya players hapa because we need the players for, for this football to continue being there so what are they going to do for the players to make sure that they're being paid kwa sababu that those who are underpaid even those who are wale kama kina Mariga kina Origi they come in Kenya using their own money na wakishafika hapa Kenya we i read i read in newspapers and somewhere that they have not been refunded their money i want them to tell us what are they going to do for the players nio thank you na asante sana ukumbini kumechacha moto na wanatoa wanazidi kutoa maoni yao kuhusiana na mjadala na maswali kuhusiana na wacha, wa, wagombeaji ambao kwa studio ni labda ningependa kurusha mikrofoni pale mwisho aweze kutoa maoni yake. Uh, utanduruhusu kuongea kwa lugha ya kimombo. <laughs> uh, in my 100 days after I got elected as the KF chairman uh, I had eight cases which I solved them and uh, up, up until now I've handled around 14 cases all of them have been successful the players have been paid uh, their money some amounting to six months and others to one year and i still have other cases in uh, other cases in, uh, pending and my question is for the aspirants what will you do in your first 100 days uh second thing i'd like to to say uh, is uh in the transfer windows in december and also in the june transfer windows uh, you'll find that uh, uh the clubs go on a on, on a dismissal spree they release players uh all of the players that they, they seem that uh, don't add, uh, add value to their teams and without any compensation and you find that uh, in the transfer windows there are so many players in the market and this decreases the value of the players uh thus you, you find that uh a player cannot be valued you cannot say this player is what is worth this much this much until the player maybe goes with the agent and uh, the agent maybe values uh negotiates for the for the in the players and in the, in the players uh, uh in, in the for the player uh the third thing uh is about uh insurance for the players i've been a victim uh at gorma here i've been a victim at madari united and uh you'd find that uh, many players can attest to this once they get a serious injury they get dismissed by the club whether they have a contract or uh, maybe the contract is running out uh, uh the fourth thing i'd like to say uh is about uh, minimum balance for the clubs a minimum balance for uh, for the clubs uh, you'd find that uh, the clubs cannot even sustain paying the players for at least six months if there, there can be a, a minimum balance for the clubs with a surety for the players that can be paid for six to uh, to 12 months because you find players in sofa parker players uh, in the uh, cruel stars they're, they're not being paid pa players are suffering so much and what can you do 
So clearly a couple of issues there coming out of the uh, auditorium, the public that we have. They are talking about the welfare of the players first and foremost. Kugei Kip Koech here also agrees with them. Wagombea hawa waweze kutueleza mbinu atakazo zitumia kwa kikisha kwamba malipo ya wachezaji ya talipwa kwa wakati bora. So the issue of uh, the welfare of the players obviously coming into play here. The elephant in the room is how these aspirants will tackle corruption first of all, bureaucracy, institutional and management failures. So that is, uh, those are the concerns that they have. Bonfes Osano here says football structures start at club level has Rachir or Nick created the same at their clubs, of course, as being chairman of the clubs that they do represent. So issues of player welfare and, of course, corruption and management in football being a key concern amongst our viva viewers, of course, on social media and at the auditorium <laughs> down there. So I don't know how the candidates have to respond to some of those concerns. Indeed, uh, thank you very much, Edmond, and of course, Mutiso and Lucky, they are bringing out the issue of uh, players. And this question will go straight to you, Samina. Samina. And maybe you should tell us, uh, being at AFC, uh, we've got a couple of tweets coming through asking what you did for the players, because the issue of players keep coming, and we saw the Harambe Stars also going through uh, a very tiring trip to Cape Verde. How different would your leadership be? And you have also to tell us how different you did at AFC. Okay. First, let me start with what I did at FC Leopards. Uh, I want to say I pride myself for having, uh, for the first time, secured a medical and personal injury uh, insurance cover for the players through AAR. It came during my time. And moving forward to what I will do, uh, uh, among the aspirants who are seated here, uh, I can pride again myself to be as one of, the, one of them who is negotiating with people who are ready to pump in five billion shillings over a period of five years. And in these five billion shillings, 54% will go to the Kenya Premier League players and 27% will go to the National Super League players. The 54% is translated into 100,000 shillings salary to 25 players for 18 clubs okay. and 50,000 at the National Super League level. Once we guarantee salary for these players <coughs> at the club level, then playing for Arambe Stars will be Easier. pride. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And we want to break a bit of uh, format right now. Please and first. we'll start with you, Nick. Yeah. The question of 100 days in one minute, what do you promise to deliver to the Kenyans if elected? First of all, in football, uh, the issue of 100 days is not very critical because what we need to do is a long-term program. Ours is a long-term plan to get it done. In 100 days, we will be putting organization in place. We will be hiring people, we will be organizing how Arambe Stars will be done, how grassroots football will be done. But the bigger thing is that we have a plan for eight to ten years to take us to the 2022 World Cup. And that's what I want to talk about. Grow the game at the grassroots that I spoke about. Grow the financial resources that are required and talk about the players' welfare as they've talked about. What we are going to do is make sure that every club takes out the players through club licensing program. Uh, from FIFA to ensure that they are all paid in time to check the financials of the, of the club to ensure that they will be able to take care of the players and finally Watson to have a lower cup all right for the salary 25 30,000 shillings and an upper cup as well so that clubs don't take a wage bill mm -hmm. which uh, which makes them not pay the wages that Mutiso is talking about thank you very much Sami please 100 days uh, clean up the house uh, our house is in mess, a big mess. Uh, the reason why our house uh, has been in mess, uh, big messes that we are actually experiencing right now is because of favors. Number one, what I would do is uh, to hire, um, uh, you know, an HR company out there to, to, uh, to get us uh, qualified employees that will work for the Federation at the secretariat level. Other than what has been happening whereby you have to bring your uncle there to work for you. Where will be the source of your income coming from in 100 days? Uh, you see now, if, if, if you are clean, if the, the house is clean, uh, corporate companies will flock in. Thank you. They will flock in. Ambrose, please. I think what is important is the strategic plan. And the first thing that I will embark upon is to come up with a strategic plan. It is that strategic plan that will give us direction where we go to in fa as far as issues like you know, structures and issues of governance are concerned. Okay. Well, well, yes, in my public sector experience, there's something we call a rapid resource initiative. So first 100 days, I'll do that RRI. And I'll be able, like I told you, when I went to present my papers for clearance for this election, I went with clearance for ethics and anti-corruption, certificate of good conduct, my certification for my education. These guys didn't want that. And somebody said in the hall, 
hakuwezi kuwa na ufisadi vile wa ufisadi we are allowing uh, people who are with questionable character to run our football Sir. nobody will put money in it semeina siku 100 utafanyaje first i will ensure that uh, fkf engages into self sustainable activities number one that is to identify a place if it is uh, land where we will build our offices and camps which we can rent out to uh, clubs and other uh, visiting uh, uh, sports tourists now moving forward i've already told you what i am doing i'm in discussions with people who are willing to invest i left out one bit which was the 19% that was remaining which translates 190 million 5.3 million will go to these 36 clubs in youth development structures thank you very much yes amina na mimi nafikiri kwamba kwa muda hivi sasa umeweza kusonga tungependa kuweza kuendelea sana sana katika siku ya leo lakini labda siku nyingine baada ya kwamba mmoja ana ameweza kuchaguliwa tawaita wanyote ataweza chaguliwa ataweza kumuita lakini muda ndio ambao tungekuwa na muda tungeza kuendelea lakini shukrani sana bwana Semi Aina shukrani bwana Gore Semelango Ambro Sarachere Sami Shole Nick Mwendo kwa muda wenu na inshallah siku nyingine <laughs> yes indeed and it has been a very engaging one and a half hours and we've engaged this actual aspirants for the FKF presidential position and I hope that maybe the six of them have the football agenda in mind and it's important to note that as far as Gori is saying that we should have put the players first he should have put the players first when he started to pass out his arguments as far as the debate is concerned but this is football and we've got uh, plenty of minutes to play and we hope that Kenyan football eventually wins of course we have to thanks all the pundits and the players who made time to be to follow this debate from our auditorium here at the nation media group and of course you at home watching and contributing towards this debate on social media and of course we'll keep you engaged as we look forward to see what happens the sub branch and the branch and of course the 14th of December when we have the FKF presidential elections. That's it from NTV and QTV. Enjoy the rest of your viewing.